Coming to you from the NFL Los Angeles newsroom with breaking news as we've been waiting <clears throat> for quarterback news for the most of this past week as we look ahead to the start of free agency. There has been a trade for the number one overall pick, the Carolina Panthers and the Chicago Bears making a deal. For more on that, let's bring in NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. We want a quarterback news, Ian. Looks like we got some today on Friday. The Carolina Panthers have been searching for the last several years for their franchise quarterback, and they now have the first opportunity in the draft to take one. Sources say the Carolina Panthers are moving all the way from number nine to the number one overall selection, trading with the Chicago Bears for the right to draft any quarterback they want. Could it be Bryce Young from Alabama? Could it be C.J. Stroud from Ohio State? Those two would be the top from most evaluators. Obviously, Bryce Young, I would say the number one overall selection in the eyes of most general managers, but Carolina has plenty of time to make that decision. The most important thing now, they are now on the clock. And for the Carolina Panthers, this did not come cheap. Here is my understanding of the price. The Carolina Panthers are giving the Chicago Bears the number nine pick. It is a second rounder this year, a first rounder in 2024, a second rounder in 2025, and DJ Moore, a top receiver who, of course, has already been paid. So Chicago adds a massive, massive draft haul and a top receiver. Meanwhile, the Carolina Panthers, who have really been through it, from Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield and on and on, they now have the opportunity again to select the number one overall quarterback in this coming draft. A recap, uh, the 2023 first and a second rounder, a 2024 first and second rounder, and DJ Moore, Ian, uh, when the Bears initially were going to get this number one overall pick, the question was what, what was going to be the price at, the, at that time for Bryce Young, uh, a couple of teams interested. They're making this trade well before free agency even opens. N no interest in waiting, or was the, the price just too good uh, to not go with this deal right at this very moment? There actually was incentive to do it right now because obviously the Bears have the most cap space uh, going into free agency. They got a lot of holes. They got a lot of holes. They have grabbed the number one pick for a reason. And general manager Ryan Poles uh, really had this thing set up to, to really be an open cabinet. Essentially, they could pick anything they want. One of the things they wanted was a top receiver. If you look out in free agency, there really isn't one. So what they said was, you know what? If we're going to trade the number one overall pick. We're not just going to get a bunch of lottery tickets, which is essentially what draft picks are. And obviously, teams have used them to build for years and years. We're going to get a sure thing. DJ Moore is, in fact, a sure thing. So the Bears really wanted to know, did they need to did they need to get a receiver in free agency? Do they need to get one now? They get one now, and they get this trade. And look, they've been talking to people for a pretty long time. They know the price. This was the right deal for the Bears. So not only do they satisfy the opportunity uh, of getting this trade for the number one overall pick, but they fill a need in a wide receiver core that essentially the best statistical yeah. season came from Equinemius St. Brown in 2022. Is, is, or where, where do we go from here? Justin Fields uh, now solidified unequivocally. Uh, they're not taking a quarterback at number one. Uh, what's the next step for the Chicago yeah. Bears with all of this ammunition that they now still have for this draft, Ian? I mean, it is a perfect opportunity for Ryan Poles and Ian Cunningham and the rest of the Chicago Bears brass just to make sure that they can build this thing the right way. They got a quarterback, and, you know, the, I would say the Bears have been pretty upfront with the fact that Justin Fields is their guy. Just wanted to make sure, a thousand percent sure, okay, well, now we're sure Justin Fields is the quarterback for 2023, and, and obviously they believe beyond. And he's in a really good position because what the Bears have now is all the things that you would want to build this the right way. They got cap space, endless cap space, still the number one team with, uh, with regards to cap space. They got multiple number one picks coming up in the future, and they got plenty of ways to use it. And they got some building blocks. Of course, Fields is one, and they got plenty of others. We'll see if they end up, you know, who they end up adding in free agency. But they now have the opportunity to do this the right way with draft picks and cash and really I would say a great opportunity to make sure that Fields is in a proper position to succeed. And now let's look over at the other side of this trade because the Panthers under new owner well not necessarily new anymore owner David Tepper who's been through uh, the free agent quarterback route. Uh, how much influence did he have in the timing of this deal for Scott Fitter and the new coach Frank Reich? 
Yeah, I mean, Scott Fitter has been clear really from the beginning. He's going to be in every deal, and they have been aggressive in, I would say, everything they've done, right? I mean, they were uh, aggressive in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes, obviously did not end up with him. They went and got Baker Mayfield. They went and got Sam Darnold. There's been several different opportunities for the Carolina Panthers to do kind of, I would say, what Seattle did, which is where Scott Fitterer came from, which is take a bunch of shots at quarterback. None had worked out. So you know what? We're just going to go get the best quarterback in the draft. And what ends up being a pretty good year for quarterbacks in this draft, there's been a lot of questions about the quarterback position for the Panthers and, you know, are they going to go, let's say, sign Jimmy Garoppolo? Is that going to be a stopgap? Who are they going to sign? They don't need to. They do not need to. The Carolina Panthers, they believe, are going to be set at quarterback. Obviously, you got to pick the right one. They're in perfect position to pick the right one. It has been a, an odyssey, I would say, for the Panthers. But they now have the opportunity to get the number one overall pick. I would say they are pretty happy in Carolina. And so the Panthers give all of this up for number one. And now, essentially, uh, the Houston Texans there at number two, they're going to get a quarterback. Maybe they get the quarterback they want. Any idea if there's more movement in the top ten, Ian, uh, that we could be looking forward to ahead of this draft? Yeah, I would say for now, this seems to be where it stands. The Panthers have number one. The Texans have number two. You got to figure that's going to be quarterback, quarterback. And we don't know right now if they want the same thing. We don't know right now if they want the same quarterback. You know, I, I, Houston had opportunities to move to one. This was the trade the Bears ended up choosing. So the Panthers are going to get the first pick. Texas are going to get the second pick. And I imagine those in Houston are probably fine with that. I mean, you know, the way Nick Casario approaches the draft, he stacks his board, one guy's gone, all right, we'll go to the guy that we think is best for us here. I think the Texans are going to be fine. What's going to now be more interesting is as you get to draft night, does someone come up and trade with Arizona? Because you go quarterback, quarterback, we don't know who those quarterbacks are going to be. Uh, does someone jump up and say, I got to get the third one, and how quickly does all of that move? Yeah, some questions to remain for the, the Raiders, the Colts, everybody else that's remaining in this top ten. And the Seahawks yeah. also available to, to perhaps make a move if necessary. The latest on that trade for the Chicago Bears and the Carolina Panthers coming courtesy of NFL Network Insider Ian Rappaport. Go, folks, go to plus.nfl.com. Sign up for NFL Plus to see path to the draft pro day specials for C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, Will Levis, and Anthony Richardson. But two first-round picks, two second-round picks, as well as DJ Moore going to Chicago Bears for the number one overall pick. Moral TA tonight at four.